Lin Fan looked at their funny faces and laughed. What are you guys doing? First, it was the twin sisters, then, it was teacher Tiantian. Now, even the Ice Beauty Song Jessen has taken the initiative to invite you. Brother Lin Fan, are you the reincarnation of the Saint of Love? Songy shouted. Brother Lin Fan, have you ever thought about the feelings of single men like us? Zhang Jinbao asked. Ma Zhong nodded his head. Lin Fan burst out laughing once more. Lin Fan did not go back to his dormitory. He drove his Lamborghini directly to KM Mall. After all, he had to prepare a present for Song Jiusen's birthday party. Chanel's jewelry store. The female sales assistant of medium build smiled and said, Welcome to Chanel. How can I help you? Lin Fan did not reply. Instead, he quickly scanned the glass cabinet. Not long after, he pointed to a purple bracelet in the middle of the counter and said, Let me see this bracelet. This is Chanel's latest bracelet, the saleswoman said. It's called the Heart of Secrets. It was made by a famous designer from Nas Tan, Lawrence Dory. The main body of this bracelet is made of five diamonds and amethyst gems. Look, these five diamonds are surrounding each other like a leaf. The four-leaf clover represents luck, while the five-leaf clover represents mystery. Coupled with the equally mysterious purple color, the entire bracelet is even more mysterious. It's deep and dazzling, making people yearn for it, but it's also hard to grasp. Lin Fan listened to the sales assistant's introduction and looked at the bracelet carefully. He asked, How much is this bracelet? The Heart of Secrets is being sold for 588,888 yuan. If you're sure you want it, I can apply for a 10% discount from the store manager, the female sales assistant said. Lin Fan knew that Song Jiusen's family definitely did not lack money. The bracelet looked good and had a good meaning. The price was 588,000. 888 yuan. Not too expensive nor too cheap. It was just right. All right. Lin Fan nodded. Help me wrap it up. As for the discount, I'll give it to you as a tip. After all, the female shop assistant's introduction was quite good. As for the discount, Lin Fan did not really care about it. The saleswoman's heart was beating wildly with joy when she heard this. She quickly said, Thank you, sir. After all, 10% of 588,888 yuan was a total of 5,888 yuan. This was not a small sum of money. In addition, she could also get a commission if she sold the bracelet. These two added together were already equivalent to one or two months of her salary. Soon, the saleswoman placed the heart of secrets in an extremely beautiful box and gave him some small gifts to express her gratitude. Lin Fan returned to his Lamborghini and looked at his phone screen. You've spent 580,000 yuan and received 58 red packets. Do you want to collect all of them? Obviously, these were the red packets that he had just received from buying the bracelet. Lin Fan tapped to receive it. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 10 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 20,000 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received one kilometer mall in Jiangbei. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 5,000 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 800 yuan. From the 58 red packets, Lin Fan received a total of 102,020 yuan and 1 km mall. 1 km mall? Lin Fan's face turned extremely weird. Was his current location not km mall? In other words, he bought a bracelet and got a mall? KM Mall was located in the city center of Jiangbei. It was the most high-end shopping center in the whole of Jiangbei. Its market value was probably above 1 billion. It became his just like that? When Lin Fan raised his head, a stack of title deeds appeared in front of him. KM Mall property owner, Lin Fan. When Lin Fan saw this, his lips curled up. Song Jiusen's house was located at number 6, Stars Villa, which was not far from KM Mall. Star's villa was full of flowers and trees, like a big park with pleasant scenery. Villa number no. 6 was located inside Star's villa, close to the most famous lake in Jiangbei, Tianhu. Villa numero 6. Sitting in the 500 square meter front yard, one could enjoy the peace and fragrance of the trees and flowers. When one opened the window, one could see the sparkling surface of the lake, which was very enjoyable. When Lin Fan arrived at Villa number no. 6, Sun Lugua, Lu Yuhang, and the others were already chatting in the backyard. 
When they saw Lin Fan, they all came over and greeted him. Lin Fan, long time no see, Sun Lu was said with a smile. Brother Lin Fan, you've finally come. Liu Yuhang put his arm around Lin Fan's shoulder. Some of the people who did not know who Lin Fan was had suspicious looks on their faces as they asked the people around them in low voices. They were very clear on Sun Lugua's and Liu Yuhang's identities. For Sun Lugua to take the initiative to greet him, and for Liu Yuhang to affectionately call him Brother Lin Fan, it was clear that he had a big background. However, Jiang Bei was only so big. By right, they should know such a person. However, they seemed to have never seen him before, which was very strange. In fact, when Sun Lugua heard Liu Yuhang call him Brother Lin Fan, he was also surprised. Liu Yuhang was a big shot, and he was actually a very proud person. Even though Lin Fan had indeed beaten the two of them in the previous race, Liu Yuhang would not call him Brother Lin Fan just because of that. Liu Yuhang naturally would not explain that Lin Fan had a close relationship with the old man from the Zhou family. He had even saved his life. Calling him Brother Lin Fan was a sign of sincere admiration. Lin Fan also smiled and greeted them. I didn't expect you guys to come so early. Liu Yuhang waved his hand. Not at all. We've only been here for a short while. After a pause, he pointed to a few people and introduced, That's Zhu Chongliang, Lin Zhengfei. Then, he said in an extremely solemn tone, This is Lin Fan, Brother Lin Fan. The few people who were introduced did not dare to show any neglect. They extended their hands and said, Brother Lin Fan, how are you? Hello, Lin Fan said. At this time, a series of crisp footsteps came from not far away. Today's main character, Song Jiesen, had finally appeared. It was different from usual. At this moment, Song Jiesen's hair was tied up high, and on her fair face, there was an exquisite touch of makeup, making her look more dignified. A white dress with diamond embellishments wrapped around her body like clouds. With the star-like gems on her neck, she looked like a fairy walking in the sky. She was beautiful and mesmerizing. At this moment, everyone could not help but think that she was so beautiful. Looking at Song Jiusen, who was walking over slowly, even Lin Fan was a little stunned. It was as if this was the first time a fairy had descended to the mortal world. Lin Fan could not help but use his eyes of truth to observe Song Jiusen. Face value, 97. Favorability, 75. Lin Fan clearly remembered that the first time he met Song Jiusen, her face value was 95, and her favorability was 60. Now, after dressing up, her face value had directly increased to 97. One could not be fooled by a mere two points. However, that was an additional two points on top of her 95 points in good looks, which was very rare. Also, when did her favorability increase so much? At this moment, Song Jiusen had already walked in front of everyone. Happy birthday, Big Sis Jessen, a young man said. At the same time, he handed over a beautifully wrapped gift. Thank you, she said. Song Jessen smiled and accepted it. After someone took the lead, everyone present also handed out their gifts. Happy birthday, Lin Fan said. Thank you, she said. Song Jessen maintained her smile. Then, three grills were carried up. Top grade beef, meat skewers, Australian lobsters, sea cucumbers, abalones, and other ingredients were also served. The place was filled with a group of young people. They were chatting and barbecuing at the same time. They were all having a great time, and the atmosphere was very relaxed. Liu Yuhang saw the chessboard in the backyard and said, Brother Lin Fan, how about we play a game of chess? The constant barbecue was starting to bore Lin Fan out. Sure, he replied. The two of them quickly sat opposite each other and set up the chessboard. Liu Yuhang chuckled and said, Brother Lin Fan, I lost to you in the race last time. Today, I'm going to use chess to get back at you. I'll let you go first. What do you think? You want me to go first? Lin Fan asked curiously. After all, he now had professional chess skills. Liu Yuhang wanted to compete with him? Was this not courting death? Brother Lin Fan, I'm not looking down on you, Liu Yuhang said. It's just that my skills are too good. After he finished speaking, he fired the cannon. Lin Fan followed. The two of them continued to move the chess pieces on the board. Liu Yuhang's chess skills were quite good. He had the ability to predict every move Lin Fan made. Ordinary people might not be his match. However, 
The person he was facing now was Lin Fan. Not long after, Liu Yuhang's brows furrowed deeply. I lose, he said helplessly. Liu Yuhang lost in chess, someone said. No way. Didn't he win an award before? The person beside him said. Sun Lugwa's face revealed a hint of surprise. In the past, Liu Yuhang's chess skills were famous in the circle. In fact, he could be said to be invincible. There was a time when Liu Yuhang would often show off his chess skills in front of him. Just like this. He lost? Liu Yuhang said, Brother Lin Fan, your skills really surprised me. It seems like I really can't let this slide. Let's play another round. Lin Fan nodded his head. The people around them had a look of realization on their faces. It turned out that Liu Yuhang had just given up. No wonder he lost. At this moment, the crowd was also a little interested. Some were holding their food and some were drinking red wine. But they stood aside quietly watching the two play chess. General. 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 Eat the carriage. Lin Fan attacked a few times, and in the end, he ate Liu Yuhang's chess piece. Everyone was secretly amazed. As today's main character, Song Jusin's beautiful eyes also slightly wavered. As everyone's attention was focused on the chess game, a white-haired old man slowly walked over. Lin Fan continued to move the carriage, horse, and cannon. Very quickly, he said, General, I lost, Liu Yuhang said, sighing. The old man could not help but say, Young man, your skills are not bad. Grandpa, when did you come over? Song Jusin smiled as she held onto the old man's arm. Hello, Grandpa Song, the crowd greeted. Song Wuming smiled and nodded at everyone as a form of greeting. I've only been here for a while, he said. Then, he smiled at Lin Fan. I rarely see a young man like you who has such skills in chess. Grandpa Song, you're overpraising me. I only know a little bit, Lin Fan said. Young man, you're too humble, Song Wuming said. Are you interested in playing a game with me? Liu Yuhang quickly stood up and gave up his seat. Grandpa Song, please, Lin Fan said. After the player was changed to Song Wanming, everyone paid even more attention. They almost surrounded the entire chessboard. Eat the soldiers. Fire the cannons. Vault. General. In the courtyard, sounds could be heard from time to time. However, not long after, the sounds stopped. This time, Song Wuming paused for a long time. I lost, he finally said. Grandpa Song, thanks for going easy on me, Lin Fan said. Song Wuming smiled and shook his head. You're very careful with your moves. Your layout is also very clever. You should know how to play Go, right? I know a little, Lin Fan said. Is that so? Song Wuming was a little surprised and said, Then let's play a game of Go. As he spoke, Song Wuming turned the chessboard around. It was a Go board. Young man, you first. All right, Lin Fan said. He did not hesitate. He picked up a black piece and placed it in the center. Huh? You're starting with Sky Origin? Song Wanming was surprised. He thought for a moment and placed the white piece in the star position. Thud. Thud. The two of them went back and forth, continuously placing pieces, causing a rhythmic knocking sound to ring out in the backyard. Most ordinary people might have only seen Go on TV. In reality, they did not know the rules of Go at all. In fact, they had never even touched Go before. However, everyone present belonged to the upper class circle of Jiangbei. They had received all kinds of training since they were young. Go was one of them. They might not be good at Go, but they still knew the basic rules. At the start, they could still follow the thought process of Lin Fan and Song Wanming. However, it did not take long for everyone's eyes to blur, and their minds gradually became a little dazed. This was a result of the huge difference in their Go skills. Thud. At this moment, Lin Fan placed another piece down. Song Wanming, on the other hand, did not make another move. After a long time, he sighed and said, I've lost. When everyone heard that, they looked at Lin Fan with even more surprise. Old Master Song was a famous Go expert. Song Jiusin, on the other hand, was staring at Lin Fan with her beautiful eyes. She looked at Lin Fan's actions of holding and placing a piece. His focused expression made her a little stunned. When Lin Fan finally won, Song Jiusin's heart started to beat even faster. He had good grades in mathematics and was good at driving. Now, he was even so skilled at chess and go. 
Lin Fan, just how many more secrets do you have? Thank you, Grandpa Song, Lin Fan said. When Song Woming heard that, he could not help but reevaluate Lin Fan. At such a young age, it was already very good to have such superb chess skills. Moreover, he was so humble. It was really rare. Lil Lin, shall we play another round? Song Woming asked. From young man, he became Lil Lin. It was obvious that Song Woming had already placed Lin Fan in a very high position in his heart. Why are you still playing Go? It's Justin's birthday today. Why is everyone standing here and watching a game of Go? A hoarse voice came from behind. Then, a white-haired old lady slowly walked out. Grandma! Song Justin stepped forward to help her up. My good granddaughter! Huang Chunlan smiled. Grandma, it's still early. Let Grandpa play a few more rounds. It'll be fine. Song Jessen said. Huang Chunlan said. What do you mean? If he wants to play Go, he can play it later. Song Woming also stood up and smiled. Yes, it's your birthday today. Lil Lin and I will play next time. Mom, Dad, you're here too? In the distance, a middle-aged couple walked over. They, they were Song Jessen's parents. Everyone at the scene greeted them. Hello, Uncle. Hello, Aunt. The middle-aged couple also responded politely. Thank you for coming to Jessen's birthday party. I hope you guys have a good time. With the addition of Song Jessen's parents and grandparents, the crowd became a little more restrained. They also felt this, so they did not stay for long. After finding an excuse, they left together. As expected, after Song Jessen's elders left, the atmosphere in the backyard became lively again. Brother Lin Fan, it's fine that you're good at racing, but I didn't expect you to be so good at chess and go as well. I feel like kneeling down in front of you, Liu Yuhang said. Really? Lin Fan smiled. Then kneel down. I won't mind. When the surrounding people heard this, they broke into laughter, and the atmosphere was extremely joyous. After eating the cake, Lin Fan sat on the deck chair, facing the breeze and looking up at the bright stars. This villa is quite comfortable to live in. Song Jessen walked over and said, With your ability, it should be easy for you to buy a villa here, right? Lin Fan said, A villa here should be around 100 to 200 million, right? That figure still makes me a little nervous. Although Lin Fan owned Chinkuen, 51% of Inshan Group shares, a building in Washing Palace, KM Mall, and many other assets. However, these were all from the system and could only be used for dividends and rent collection. They could not be sold. Lin Fan's true capital was only a mere 140 million. With 140 million, it was barely enough to buy a villa here. Lin Fan did not want to spend all his money so quickly. Song Jessen laughed. I didn't expect you to be short on money. One had to know that Lin Fan had casually rejected a sports car worth 28 million yuan. Lin Fan smiled and touched his nose. The birthday party lasted until 11 p.m. At this time, the school dormitory was already closed. Thus, Lin Fan came to Iku City. It was nighttime. Lin Fan and Chiu Zichian did not get any sleep. Huang Ling, who was in the room next door, was also sleepless. The next day, after Lin Fan had his breakfast, he drove to Jiangbei University as usual. When Lin Fan arrived at the classroom, the counselor, Sun Yaodong, was already standing on the podium. After the bell rang, Sun Yaodong smiled and said, I've always thought that you were the best students in the school. It turns out that I have good taste. Next, I'll announce the provincial level winners of the National Mathematical Modeling Competition. Zhao Yin, third prize of the provincial level. Song Yi, third prize of the provincial level. Ma Zhong, second prize of the provincial level. When everyone heard their names, they all revealed a look of joy that was difficult to hide. Especially Song Yi, who almost jumped up in joy. Very quickly, Sun Yaodong finished reading out the names. Brother Lin Fan, both of us have tough lives. Zhang Jin Bao sighed. Sun Yaodong said, Next, I'll announce the list of winners of the National Mathematical Modeling Competition. Lin Fan. Zhang Jin Bao was speechless. It turned out that he was the only one with a bitter life. Sun Yaodong continued, Lin Fan is the only national award winner in our class and also the only national award winner in the entire Jiangbei University. Please give him a round of applause. Sun Yaodong took the lead and started clapping. Immediately after, 
the entire classroom burst into lively applause. Song Jiasen, who was sitting not too far away, could not help but look at Lin Fan with her bright eyes. As the two of them were sitting in the same row, she could only see Lin Fan's side when she turned her head. However, it was this one look that made Song Jiasen's heart beat faster. Naturally, Lin Fan had no way of knowing this. At this moment, he felt a touch of joy in his heart. That was because a crisp notification rang out in Lin Fan's mind. Ding! Complete the task and win a national award in the National Mathematical Modeling Competition. You've received five silver packets. The mission was completed. Sun Yaodong continued, Lin Fan, you should get ready. You'll need to go to Jingbei in two days. You'll have to answer your oral defense on the spot to determine the level of the national award. Perform well and strive to bring back a higher education cup. Ha ha ha. Speaking up to this point, Sun Yao Dong could not help but burst out laughing. It was as if he could already see the scene of Lin Fan bringing back the higher education cup. However, he did not know that Lin Fan was not planning on going to Jingbei to defend his dissertation. Lin Fan had no interest in the national award or the higher education cup. Now that he had completed the mission, why make another trip to the capital? I'm sorry. But I would rather sleep on my desk. After Sun Yaodong left, Song, he could not help but feel proud. Teacher Sun's judgment isn't bad. You can tell that my ability is outstanding with a single glance. He paused and deliberately sighed. It's a pity that I didn't perform well and only won the provincial third prize. Unlike Ma Zhong and brother Lin Fan, who won the provincial second prize and the national award. I didn't win any awards, Zhang Jinbao pouted and said. Song he patted Zhang Jinbao's shoulder and said with a heavy heart, you're not bad yourself. You have two roommates who won provincial awards and one roommate who won a national award. Zhang Jinbao was speechless. School ended earlier that day. After having lunch, Lin Fan lay down on his bed. Ding, ding. The phone in his pocket vibrated slightly. 12 p.m. The red packets were here. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 8 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 99 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 2,000 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 10,000 yuan. This time, Lin Fan received a total of 30,225 yuan. Then, he turned his attention to the silver packets. He mumbled in his heart, With the five silver packets I got for Yu Xin's birthday, I have ten silver packets in total. Let's see what I can get from them. Open. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 200,000 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received a double skill card. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 500,000 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've obtained Coiling Dragon Villa Complex. Ding. Congratulations, you've obtained an Energy Shield. Lin Fan received 1.2 million yuan from the 10 silver packets. Lin Fan was not too concerned about this small amount of money. He immediately set his sights on the double skill card, the energy shield, and the coiling dragon villa complex. Double skill card. Able to double the ability of a specific skill within an hour. Possess more powerful skills and displays more charm. Lin Fan nodded his head slightly. It could double the ability of a skill, which was undoubtedly a very good thing. The only pity was that he only had one hour. Energy shield. It'll continuously absorb the energy in the world. When the host encounters danger, it'll automatically form a transparent protective shield to protect the host's safety. Lin Fan's eyes lit up. Even though Lin Fan had violent aesthetics and could fight against a hundred people at once, this world was still in the era of firearms and explosives. If by any chance he was ambushed one day, he would not be able to escape. Now, there was a certain guarantee. Coiling Dragon Villa Complex a villa complex located by Tianhu Lake in the center of Jiangbei City. The scenery is beautiful and suitable for living. The moment Lin Fan saw this, he let out a weird expression. A villa area by the lake? He clearly remembered that there were two villa clusters by the lake. One was the cluster of Star's villa where Song Jusin's family lived, and the other was the newly developed Coiling Dragon Villa cluster. Now, he had become the owner of the Coiling Dragon Villa complex? When Lin Fan raised his head, he saw a bunch of keys and a stack of property certificates. Lin Fan slowly opened the title deed. 
Coiling Dragon Villa No. 1, 3,200 square meters in area. Property Owner, Lin Fan. Coiling Dragon Villa No. 2, 3,300 square meters in area. Property Owner, Lin Fan. Coiling Dragon Villa No. 10, 3,300 square meters in area. Property Owner, Lin Fan. 10 villas, a total of 10 villas, all of which belong to Lin Fan. Lin Fan owned many properties such as Chinkuin, Washington Palace, KM Mall, and so on. However, after seeing the stack of title deeds, he could not help but smile. The silver packets are really great, he praised. After school in the afternoon, Lin Fan walked straight to the parking lot. Since he had nothing to do at night, he planned to go to the Coiling Dragon Villa complex to take a look at the houses he had just obtained. If it were a long-distance trip, Lin Fan would drive the Mercedes-Benz G-Class. That was because G-size cars were more waste-friendly. The Coiling Dragon Villa complex was only 20 kilometers away from Jiangbei University. Therefore, Lin Fan chose to drive the Lamborghini. It was strong and fast. He stepped on the accelerator, and the car shot forward. At this time, Han Tian had already arrived at the entrance of the Coiling Dragon Villa complex. Han Tian smiled and said, Hello. I'm the manager of Lianjia. I have a client who wants to buy Villa No. 8, but the client is busy, so she asked me to take a few photos and send them to her. May I come in? Some people thought that a real estate agent could get a large commission by just talking and signing a few contracts. In fact, they still needed to make a lot of preparations. Things like taking photos were just one of them. All the houses in our Coiling Dragon Villa complex have been sold, the security guard said apologetically. They're now private property. So, I can't let you take photos. I'm sorry. All sold. Han Tian was slightly taken aback. As the manager of Lianjia, she knew about all the properties in Jiangbei. The Coling Dragon Villa Complex was a newly built super luxury villa cluster, and each villa was worth at least 150 million yuan. In such a short time, they were all sold? Why didn't I hear about it? Han Tian asked, confused. We were informed by our leader, the security guard said. In fact, not only was Han Tian confused, but the security guard was also confused. In the past, some real estate companies would come to visit and take photos every day. As long as they had enough qualifications, the security guards would agree to let them in. However, this afternoon, the leader suddenly informed them that all the villas had been sold and that real estate agents and other people were prohibited from entering the villas. This shocked all the security guards. For Han Tian, it was not easy to meet a customer who was interested in buying a unit at Coiling Dragon Villa Complex. However, the villas had already been sold, and she had no other choice. She had no choice but to turn around. At this moment, light footsteps were heard from behind. Then, a familiar figure appeared in front of her. It was Lin Fan. Han Tian looked at Lin Fan's tall figure, his well defined facial features, and his bright eyes. Her heart could not help but beat faster. Han Tian seemed to feel that she had been staring at Lin Fan for too long. Like a thief who had been discovered, she slowly lowered her head. Obviously, Lin Fan had also noticed Han Tian. He smiled and said, Manager Han, we meet again. At this time, Han Tian also calmed down and smiled. Yup. After a pause, she continued, Mr. Lin, do you want to buy a house in the Coiling Dragon Villa complex? Unfortunately, the security guard said that all the houses here have already been sold. Of course, whether it's true or not, we'll have to investigate further to know. After all, it was common for people to deliberately cover things up in the real estate industry. That's not it. I'm just here to take a look at my houses, Lin Fan said. As he spoke, he handed a stack of property ownership certificates to the security guard and said, can I go in? The security guard took a quick look, bowed, and showed the most respectful smile, saying, Welcome home, Mr. Lin. Han Tian was completely stunned. What did she just see? It turned out that Coiling Dragon Villa Complex had really been sold. The buyer was Lin Fan. Manager Han, do you want to come in and take a look? Lin Fan asked. Han Tian knew that Lin Fan was super rich. The last time she took him to see the flat in Ika City, he paid the full amount on the spot. However, this was Coiling Dragon Villa Complex. Moreover, it was the entire Coiling Dragon Villa Complex. 
How much would that cost? One billion? Two billion? Lin Fan saw that Han Tian was still standing there in a daze, so he could not help but say, Manager Han, do you want to come in and take a look? At this moment, Han Tian finally came back to her senses and stammered, Ah, ah, all right, all right. After entering the gate, they could see colorful flowers, green trees, and clear water. When a cool breeze blew from afar, they felt refreshed and comfortable. Lin Fan could not help but nod his head. It was obvious that he was quite satisfied with the environment. Then, Lin Fan walked toward Villa No. 10, which was the outermost villa. The front yard was about 600 square meters in size. There was a green grass field, some fruit trees, and a wide swimming pool. The overall decoration style of Villa No. 10 leaned toward European and American styles, making people feel like they were in a fairy tale castle. Lin Fan walked around each villa before heading out. Overall, the environment of the villas was very good. There were various styles of decoration, and Lin Fan was quite satisfied. The boss of Chao Xia's company had organized a group of employees to go to Tianhu to play and take photos in order to promote their corporate culture. The employees were only allowed to move around freely after taking a few photos. Chao Xia strolled along Tianhu Lake. When she arrived at the entrance of Coiling Dragon Villa Complex, she exclaimed in admiration, The villas here are so beautiful. A colleague who was on good terms with her said, Of course. Any one of the villas in Coiling Dragon Villa is worth hundreds of millions. Hiss. Chao Xia could not help but gasp when she heard that. A villa worth hundreds of millions? If I can have a house like this in my lifetime, I'll die with no regrets, Chao Xia could not help but say. Her colleague laughed and said, Have a house here? I don't dare to think about it. I'll be satisfied if I can go in and take a look. At this moment, Lin Fan finally finished looking at the villas and walked out. When the security guard saw this, he stood at the side respectfully from a distance. Goodbye, Mr. Lin. Lin Fan nodded his head as a form of greeting. Chao Xia happened to see this scene. She glanced at the bunch of keys and the property ownership certificates in Lin Fan's hands. A look of disdain appeared on her face. Last time, he said that he owned an entire building in Washington Palace. Why did he bring so many keys and property ownership certificates to Coiling Dragon Villa Complex now? He was clearly just a real estate agent. He was just bragging. Xiao Xia saw Lin Fan slowly walking toward her. She asked coldly, What are you doing here? Lin Fan could not help but frown. He was disgusted by Xiao Xia's arrogant attitude. He said indifferently, This road doesn't seem to belong to your family, right? When the colleague beside Xiao Xia saw that Xiao Xia knew Lin Fan, she could not help but be interested and said, You're probably a salesman for Coiling Dragon Villa, right? Can you take us in to have a look? I'm not a salesman. Lin Fan shook his head. Then how did you get in just now? The colleague asked. Because I own Coiling Dragon Villa, Lin Fan said. The colleague was stunned for a moment. Xiao Xia's pretty face flushed red. How embarrassing. It was too embarrassing. She had just greeted Lin Fan, but he said such big words. He said that he owned Coiling Dragon Villa? How did she get to know such a big bragger? How would her colleague view her now? When Xiao Xia thought of this, she said angrily, Lin Fan, can't you be more honest? You're clearly a property agent. First, you rented a car for a blind date. Then you said that you have a house in Washington Palace, and now you're saying that Coiling Dragon Villa is all yours. Do you think anyone will believe you? Don't you know that this will only make you more embarrassed? After she finished speaking, she held her colleague's hand and quickly walked away. When she passed by the parking lot, she vaguely saw a supercar. However, at this time, she was in a fit of anger and was not in the mood to look carefully. What's wrong with her? Lin Fan pouted. Han Tian, who was beside him, asked, You rented a car for a blind date? Mr. Lin, did you go on blind dates with her before? Yes, Lin Fan replied. She probably thinks that I'm a poor loser and that my Lamborghini is rented. When Han Tian heard this, she was both jealous and angry. She was jealous that Xiao Xia had the chance to go on a blind date with Lin Fan. Why could it not be her? She was furious that Xiao Xia had rejected Lin Fan. Lin Fan was so perfect. No wonder back at Lianjia, she kept on mocking Lin Fan. How despicable. She'll regret it. Han Tian said seriously. 
Lin Fan shook his head and did not take this matter to heart. She was just a self-righteous woman. It would only be a waste of his energy to take her too seriously. After Lin Fan and Han Tian parted ways, he went to the furniture store in KM Mall. Although Coiling Dragon Villa had been renovated and the villas were furnished, it did not suit Lin Fan's taste. After spending three million to buy some sofas and beds, he drove the Lamborghini and headed straight back to Coiling Dragon Villa. At this moment, Song Jusin was driving her Ferrari home. At that moment, she saw a Lamborghini driving over from a distance. LF666? Huh, isn't that Lin Fan's car? Song Jusin was a little surprised. In her mind, Lin Fan's handsome face appeared, and her heart could not help but beat faster. Almost instinctively, she turned around and headed toward Lin Fan. The two of them quickly arrived at the front door of Coiling Dragon Villa. Song Jusin asked, Lin Fan, what are you doing here? Are you planning to buy a house here? I've already bought it, Lin Fan said. Oh, which one? We're considered neighbors now, so we can see each other more often in the future, Song Jusin said happily. I haven't decided which one to live in yet, Lin Fan said. Lin Fan was not lying. Today, he visited all ten villas. Villa number one, villa number six, and villa number eight were all very close to Tianhu Lake. He could see the beautiful lake when he opened the windows. Villa number one was decorated in an ancient style, villa number six was decorated in a modern style, and villa number eight was decorated in European and American styles. Lin Fan really had not thought about which villa to stay in. However, these words made Song Jusin even more suspicious. Did Lin Fan not just say that he had already bought a villa? Why did he say that he did not know which one he was staying in? It was obvious that Lin Fan had noticed the change in Song Jusin's expression. He explained, I bought the entire Coiling Dragon Villa complex, so I have a total of 10. Right now, I'm choosing between Villa Number 1, Villa Number 6, or Villa Number 8 to stay in. Song Jusin was speechless. Even though the Song family was a powerful family in Jiangbei, and they were ranked at the top even in the Jiang province. However, even for the Song family, it would be difficult to buy the entire Coiling Dragon Villa complex. After all, this involved 1 to 2 billion yuan. This is what you meant by a little tight on funds? Song Jusin asked curiously, who would spend 1 or 2 billion to buy houses? Lin Fan could only laugh it off. What could he say? Could he possibly tell her that he got the houses from a silver packet? She would not believe it even if he said it. After Lin Fan asked the furniture company to place the sofas and beds in the villa, he did not move in immediately. It was too empty and lonely for a person to live in such a villa alone. After Lin Fan and Song Jusin parted ways, he went to Iku City. Huang Ling had flown to another city and would only be back the day after tomorrow. Only Lin Fan and Chiu Zichin were in the entire house, so they were even more unscrupulous. One had to admit that Lin Fan was very capable. Even though he had done it for two nights straight, he was still full of energy. That night, the big bed was like a music box that sang the whole night. The next day, Zhang Bei University, the counselor, Sun Yao Dong, was humming a tune in the corridor, swaying as he walked. He was obviously in a good mood. When Sun Yao Dong met a middle-aged professor, he said proudly, Old Fong, what did I say? Didn't my students get a few provincial awards? One even got the national award. In two days, Lin Fan will go to Jingbei for his dissertation. He might even be able to win the Higher Education Cup. Since yesterday, Sun Yaodong had been saying similar things. The middle-aged professor had no way of refuting that. It was because a student really did win the national award. At that moment, Lin Fan walked over. Sun Yaodong's eyes lit up. No matter how he looked at Lin Fan, he found him pleasing to the eye. Lin Fan, are you going to the mathematics department's office? Sun Yaodong asked. Yes, Professor Zhang asked me to go over, Lin Fan said. Sun Yaodong nodded and said, he'll probably discuss the Jingbei oral defense with you. Your ability is outstanding, so make good use of this opportunity. Our class honor depends on you. Lin Fan's lips twitched when he heard this. He clearly remembered that Counselor Sun had said almost the same thing to him the last time. Then, he convinced him to sign up for the National Mathematical Modeling Competition. He was saying such things again? Unfortunately, he was going to be disappointed this time. Lin Fan laughed noncommittally. Then, 
He walked to the mathematics department's office. At this time, Zhang Yong was sitting in his office, drinking tea and reading newspapers. The moment he caught sight of Lin Fan, his murky eyes lit up with a bright light. Lin Fan, come and sit down. Have some tea first. Even though Zhang Yong had not given Lin Fan any training, no matter what, Lin Fan won the National Mathematical Modeling Competition. This was also beneficial to him. Thank you, Professor Zhang, Lin Fan said. After drinking a mouthful of tea, there was a hint of sweetness in the bitterness, just like the taste of life. Zhang Yong said, generally speaking, the list of winners for the national award and even the higher education cup has already been announced. They chose the model and thesis you submitted. The reason why I'm letting you guys go to Jingbei to defend your dissertation is to check if you guys completed it on your own. So, when you go to Jingbei tomorrow, don't be nervous. Just answer according to the model. Professor Zhang, I'm not planning to go to Jingbei, Lin Fan said. Oh. Zhang Yong nodded with a smile, but the next moment, his whole body froze. You. What did you just say? You're not going to the capital? Zhang Yong's eyes widened. Yes, I'm not, Lin Fan said. Why? You're very talented. If you win the first prize in the country, or even the higher education cup, the school will give you a large scholarship. Also, this will be very beneficial for your research and even your work in the future. Zhang Yong said. High scholarship? Was it even one million? Even with a one million yuan scholarship, it was only Lin Fan's income for a day's sleep. Postgraduate recommendation? He had come to Jiangbei University to experience college life. As for work, Lin Fan did not care about that at all. Those are useless to me. I still don't want to go to Jingbei, Lin Fan said. What? Zhang Yong was a little anxious and paced back and forth in the office. Lin Fan, this is a really good opportunity. The school will pay for all your travel expenses. Just treat it as a two day trip to Jingbei. Isn't that great? If you don't go now, you'll definitely regret it in the future. However, no matter what, Lin Fan remained unmoved. At this moment, Zhang Yong suddenly thought of the first time they met. It was the scene of Lin Fan hugging Xia Bing and Xia Xue. He continued, The National Mathematical Modeling Competition is a team competition. Even if you don't want to go to Jingbei, and even if you don't care about the honor and trophies, you have to consider your teammates, Xia Bing and Xia Xue. They really need these. The moment he said that, Lin Fan could not help but hesitate. Xia Bing and Xia Xue were only ordinary students, but their computer skills were outstanding. Moreover, they even signed up for the National Mathematical Modeling Competition. Perhaps, they really needed the certificate and trophy? Zhang Yong was delighted to see that his words seemed to have worked. He was prepared to be a little more ruthless with his methods. Thus, he picked up his phone and dialed the phone number of a lecturer from the School of Computer Science. After a while, Xia Bing and Xia Xue slowly walked in. When they saw Lin Fan, their pretty faces immediately revealed sweet smiles. Zhang Yong cleared his throat and said, Lin Fan just said that he doesn't want to go to Jingbei to participate in the oral defense. Xia Bing, Xia Xue, you guys should quickly persuade him. After he finished speaking, his face was like Xia Bing and Xia Xue's, revealing a smile. Then we won't go either, Xia Bing and Xia Xue said in unison. Their answers were so decisive without the slightest hesitation. Huh. Zhang Yong was stunned again. What was going on? This situation was completely different from what he had imagined. You guys won't go? Aren't you going to persuade him? Zhang Yong hurriedly said, Xia Bing, Xia Xue, you might not know this yet. If you go to Jingbei to do your oral defense, you might win the second or first prize of the country, or even the higher education cup. But if you don't go, you can only win the third prize. Xia Bing and Xia Xue said, Okay, we won't go. Okay, they would not go? Was this reasonable? Zhang Yong was speechless. He did not know how important Lin Fan was to Xia Bing and Xia Xue. There was no need to talk about the national second prize and first prize, or even the higher education cup. Even the entire world could not compare to Lin Fan. Zhang Yong tried to persuade them for a while, but it was useless. In the end, he had no choice but to give up. He also told Lin Fan, Xia Bing, and Xia Xue to go back and think about it. Zhang Yong thought for a while and walked toward the counselor's office. He wanted Sun Yao Dong to help persuade them. 
It was not easy for someone from Jiangbei University to win a national award in the National Mathematical Modeling Competition. Zhang Yong did not want to give up the opportunity to go further. Sun Yaodong, who was drinking tea, stood up when he saw Zhang Yong. Professor Zhang, you're here because Lin Fan will be going to Jingbei, right? I'll definitely approve his leave. Now, as long as Sun Yaodong mentioned Lin Fan, his face would be filled with smiles. He had really made a name for himself. A national award. That was the only national award of Jiangbei University. Lin Fan doesn't want to go to Jingbei, Zhang Yong said. Huh. As if a fishbone was stuck in Sun Yaodong's throat, his voice suddenly stopped. At this time, Zhang Jinbao was blocked by two people outside the corridor. Zhang Jinbao, didn't you say that designing a drainage system is the simplest? What's going on now? We didn't even get the provincial third prize. I've asked a lot of people, and as long as they chose the drainage system, none of them won the award. A man of medium build complained. My goal this year was to be second in the province, the short man said. The two of them were considered top students. They placed great importance on this national mathematical modeling competition. However, the result was not what they had expected. Zhang Jinbao could not help but feel a little guilty when he was interrogated by them. He looked around and saw Lin Fan, who had just returned from Zhang Yang's place. His squinted eyes immediately widened as he said, That's because those who chose the drainage system aren't good enough. Then, he walked in front of Lin Fan and said, This is my roommate, Lin Fan. He won the National Mathematical Modeling Award. He'll be going to Jingbei for an oral defense soon, and he might even come back with a higher education cup. Do you know which question brother Lin Fan chose? The drainage system. Zhang Jinbao answered his own question. Of course, the medium build and short man knew that Lin Fan had won a national award. This matter had long been spread. However, they had no idea which question Lin Fan had chosen. Zhang Jinbao said in the tone of an elder, don't look for the reason in others whenever there's a problem. You should reflect more on yourselves. The two of them could not help but lower their heads and walk away. Zheng Jinbao placed his hand on Lin Fan's shoulder and smiled. Brother Lin Fan, thank you for your help. Oh right, Brother Lin Fan. When are you going to the capital? I'm not going, Lin Fan said. Huh. Zheng Jinbao squinted his eyes and blinked twice. He was a little stunned. At this time, Sun Yaodong ran over in a hurry. Lin Fan, how can you not go to Jingbei to defend your dissertation? This is a very good opportunity. Your ability is outstanding. The honor of our class depends on you. Sun Yaodong said. These words again? This time around, Lin Fan was not the only one who was speechless. Zhang Jinbao was also speechless. Sun Yaodong only knew how to spout such things to deceive people. Sun Yaodong did not realize this and was about to say something. At this moment, the bell rang in the school. Class is starting, Lin Fan said. Counselor Sun, I'll go in first. Hey you, you should think about it again, Sun Yaodong said. In the back row, Brother Lin Fan, are you really not going to the capital to defend your dissertation? Zhang Jinbao could not help but ask. You're not going to Jingbei for your oral defense? Ma Zhong was surprised. Why? Obviously, he knew the rules of the National Mathematical Modeling Competition. Lin Fan yawned and said, Do you guys have to be so excited? Why do I have to go to Jingbei? Instead of going so far to answer some questions, why don't I just sleep? What? That was the selection for a national award. Countless people dreamed of going there. Lin Fan, he actually said that it was better to sleep? Ma Zhong opened his mouth and wanted to say something. But the old professor had already walked in with a textbook. Lin Fan listened to the old professor's lullaby like lecture and quickly fell asleep. When Lin Fan woke up, it was mealtime. After having a leisurely lunch, he returned to the dormitory and prepared to sleep again. At this moment, the phone in his pocket vibrated. 12 p.m. The red packets were here. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 10 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 300 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 10,000 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 5 yuan. Lin Fan received a total of 40,500 yuan from the red packets today. He glanced at the red packets that he had received after spending 3 million yuan on the furniture yesterday. He muttered in his heart, 
300 red packets? I'll wait a little longer. I'll gather 1,000 of them and open them together. Then, he put his phone aside and fell asleep again. At the same time, in the big conference room of Jiangbei University, the professors and deans of the mathematics department were all gathered together. They discussed in low voices. They were all puzzled as to why they were suddenly informed of a meeting. As time went by, it was not only the members of the mathematics department who came but the members of other departments too, even the school leaders had arrived. This made everyone even more confused. It was rare for Jiangbei University to hold such a large-scale meeting, especially since the meeting was hosted by the mathematics department. The dean of the School of Mathematics, Hu Chuan, was sitting at the head of the table. He took a sip of tea leisurely and looked at Zhang Yong, who was sitting not far away. He seemed to be a little worried and smiled. Professor Zhang, why do you look like you have something on your mind? Dean Hu, Zhang Yong sighed. You should know that the students from Jiangbei University won a national award in the National Mathematical Modeling Competition this year. Hu Chuan nodded and said, I know about that. It's Lin Fan's team, right? That's a good thing. Why do you look so unhappy? Lin Fan doesn't want to go to Jingbei to take part in the oral defense for the national award. Huh? Why not? What a great opportunity this is. Does that child not know what an oral defense means? I have to persuade him. Does he have any difficulties? The surrounding professors and leaders were all surprised and asked one after another. Zhang Yong said, I've said everything I needed to say, but Lin Fan doesn't seem to be interested at all. Hu Chuan, who was sitting at the head, thought for a while and said, Since he doesn't want to go, then let's forget it. Huh? Zhang Yong's mouth was half open, and his face was full of confusion. Hu Chuan continued, I was already very surprised that Lin Fan participated in the mathematical modeling competition. At that time, I thought that he was probably just playing around. If we let Lin Fan do the oral defense, it would be the same as letting him bully others. It's normal for Lin Fan to choose not to go. Huh. Zhang Yang's mouth was wide open, and he was even more confused. Lin Fan's participation in the mathematical modeling competition was a surprise? He did it just for fun? Lin Fan going to defend his thesis was bullying? The dean of the School of Mathematics, Hu Chuan, said a few words in a row that completely confused Zhang Yong. This. What was going on? However, Hu Chuan was not prepared to explain any further. Xin Liang, the chancellor of Jiangbei University, walked over. Hu Chuan quickly went up to welcome him and invited Xin Liang to sit at the main seat. However, Xin Liang said, Today is a big event for your mathematics department. You should be the one leading. So, it's most suitable for you to take the main seat. After Hu Chuan gave way for a while, he still sat on the seat as instructed. Then, he looked out of the door from time to time as if he was waiting for someone. But there was no trace of that person. Director Hu, when is the meeting starting? A professor asked impatiently. I still have a lot of things to deal with. Yeah, I'm still waiting to start a project. Hu Chuan saw that more and more people were dissatisfied. Finally, he cleared his throat and said, Then let's talk about something first. Many people might not know this, but not long ago, someone from our school solved Joe's conjecture. As soon as he said that, the professors who were still grumbling immediately stopped. Then, the entire conference room was in an uproar. Some of them might not be teachers or leaders of the mathematics major. However, they knew what was Zhou's conjecture. If one could solve it, it would be a huge step forward for the entire mathematics world. This big step was actually pushed by Jiangbei University. How could they not be excited? Dean Hu, which professor solved Zhou's conjecture? May I ask if you were the one who solved it? Has the answer passed the review? A series of questions shot out like cannonballs. The professors, who had always been modest and gentlemanly, were now like believers who had suddenly heard the will of God and could not help shouting. Hu Chuan said, when Zhou's conjecture was solved, a few professors and I jointly checked it. Then, we compiled it into a paper and submitted it to the Mathematics Journal. Today, the Mathematics Journal replied to the email. The answer is correct. At the same time, the World Mathematics Organization also sent us an invitation. They hope that the people who solved Zhou's conjecture can go to Poston and hold a large-scale report. When Hu Chuan said this, there was a hint of unconcealable excitement in his tone. 
Poston was undoubtedly one of the holy lands of mathematics. Countless mathematicians would be proud to host a report in Poston. The large-scale report was the most high-level report. To anyone, this was an absolute honor, a supreme honor. A large-scale report in Poston? Oh my God. Dean Hu, quickly tell us. Who's the person who solved Zhou's conjecture? Hu Chuan said, the person who solved Zhou's conjecture is. Lin Fan. Whoosh. The moment he said that, there was an uproar. Zhang Yang's eyes were wide open, and he was completely stunned. What did he just hear? Lin Fan solved Zhou's conjecture? That young undergraduate student? At this moment, Zhang Yong finally understood why Hu Chuan had said that Lin Fan's participation in the mathematical modeling competition was just for fun. He finally understood how Lin Fan would be bullying others by participating in the oral defense. For someone who solved Zhou's conjecture to participate in the mathematical modeling competition was like a high school student taking a kindergarten exam. If this was not bullying, what was? Hu Chuan continued, The main purpose of today's meeting is to make preparations for this report. It's to promote Zhou's conjecture. It's best to wait for Lin Fan to come over and discuss all of this. He then looked at the time and said, Lin Fan might have been delayed by something. Everyone, please wait a moment. I'll give him a call to ask. After saying that, Hu Chuan walked to the side and made a call. At that moment, Lin Fan was sleeping and was a little dazed. He picked up the call. Lin Fan, did you receive the news I sent you about the meeting this morning? Hu Chuan said. A meeting? What kind of meeting? Lin Fan said in a daze. You solved Zhou's conjecture. The World Mathematics Organization has invited you to go to Poston and organize a large-scale report. Hu Chuan said. He had already said that earlier. Even though he was just repeating it, he could not help but feel excited. Host a report at Poston? I'm not going. After Lin Fan finished speaking, he hung up the phone and went back to Dreamland. It was not because Lin Fan was still in a daze. Even if he was awake, Lin Fan would still give the same answer. Go to Poston to host a report? In Lin Fan's heart, this could not even compare to going to Jingbei for the oral defense. That was because Poston was farther away than the capital. Moreover, he had to face a bunch of questions from foreigners. He, he was not interested at all. After the call was hung up, Hu Chuan was stunned for a few seconds. It was obvious that he had not reacted to Lin Fan's answer. After a while, Hu Chuan picked up his phone and dialed Lin Fan's number again. He was prepared to explain the situation. However, the only response Hu Chuan got was that Lin Fan's phone was switched off. Hu Chuan was at a loss as he walked toward his seat. Director Hu, is Lin Fan here? A professor asked in a hurry. He could not wait to see the person who solved Zhou's conjecture. He's not going to post in for the report, Hu Chuan said, stunned. Silence. The entire conference room suddenly fell silent. Everyone's face was filled with disbelief. This was even more shocking than hearing that someone had solved Zhou's conjecture. Hosting a report at Poston was the dream stage for almost every mathematician. However, Lin Fan actually refused to go. After a long while, someone stammered, Lin. Lin Fan is still young. Maybe he doesn't even know the significance of hosting a report at Poston, which is why he rejected it. Everyone in the meeting room nodded in agreement. Chancellor Xinliang said, Dean Hu, you can explain to Lin Fan about the Poston report in detail later. If Lin Fan knows the meaning and benefits of the Poston report, I think. He'd agree to go. Zhang Yong, who was sitting next to him, opened his mouth. He really wanted to say that Lin Fan would not agree. That was because not long ago, Zhang Yong had said something similar to Lin Fan. It was just that the Jingbei oral defense was now changed to the Poston report. Without the protagonist, the impromptu meeting was left unsettled. Then, Hu Chuan personally rushed to dormitory 104. When Song Yi, Zhang Jinbao, Ma Zhong, and the others saw Hu Chuan, their eyes all widened. He was the dean of the mathematics department. They could only see Hu Chuan during the opening ceremony and some important meetings. At this moment, he had actually come to their dormitory. Hu Chuan said, Lin Fan, I might not have made myself clear just now. The World Mathematics Organization would like to invite you to post in to host a large-scale report. A large-scale report, the highest level of all the reports. At that time, 
you'll show the detailed solution to Zhou's conjecture to almost all famous mathematicians in the world. Currently, there are less than 10 people from Hua Nation who have held large-scale reports in Poston. When Hu Chuan said this, he could not help but raise his voice. He was excited. That expression. It was as though he was the one going to Poston for a large-scale report. However, Lin Fan just yawned and said, Oh, but I don't want to go to Poston. These words were like a basin of cold water that was poured over Hu Chuan's head. Ma Zhong, Song Yi, and Zheng Jinbao were also extremely surprised. Didn't you hear Hu Chuan say that less than 10 people in Hua Nation have ever held such a report? This meant that the moment Lin Fan headed to Poston, he would become one of the 10. He would be one of the top 10 most awesome people. However, Lin Fan actually rejected it. Hu Chuan was extremely anxious and began to persuade him again. Finally, Lin Fan said, If they really want to listen to the report, then they should come to Jiangbei. I'll host it here. If they don't want to come, then forget it. Hu Chuan felt helpless. He really wanted to continue persuading Lin Fan. However, after he said this, Lin Fan walked out. At this moment, Hu Chuan's phone rang with a light ringtone. It was the Chancellor, Shen Liang. Did Lin Fan agree to go to Poston for the report? Shen Liang asked. Clearly, he was also very concerned about this matter. After all, it represented the honor of Jiangbei University. Lin Fan doesn't want to go. Hu Chuan sighed. But he said that if they want to listen to the report, they can come to Jiangbei. There was a moment of silence on the phone. After a while, Shen Liang said, Let's reply to the World Mathematics Organization about Lin Fan's idea first. If they agree, it might not be a bad thing for us. Hu Chuan naturally understood what Shen Liang meant. However, how difficult would it be to get so many mathematicians to come to Jiangbei? I'll try to contact the World Mathematics Organization, Hu Chuan said. Lin Fan seemed to be a little annoyed by Jiangbei University's aggressive persuasion. He got into his Lamborghini and headed toward Iku City. At this moment, in Iku City, room 2501, Huang Ling's beautiful eyes were red, and tears kept falling. Huang Ling was supposed to fly to Japan today. However, in the VIP lounge, a Japanese man who was eating ice cream accidentally bumped into her. This was not Huang Ling's responsibility. As an air stewardess, she apologized profusely and carefully cleaned the other party's clothes. At that time, the Japanese man was all smiles and expressed their understanding. However, after Huang Ling left, the Japanese went to the airline's leader and complained about her. The leader did not distinguish between right and wrong and severely criticized Huang Ling. Then, in order to satisfy the Japanese, the leader canceled Huang Ling's flight work and deducted 10% of her bonus this month. Xiu Zichian gently patted Huang Ling's back and said, That Japanese man is so sinister. Huang Ling, calm down first. Huang Ling, why don't you resign as well? She added after a pause. Resign? Huang Ling seemed to have thought of something, and her entire face blushed. Xiu Zichian nodded. I can see that you have feelings for Lin Fan. Women want to get married in order to live a happy life. Perhaps in the future, you'll find someone who likes you very much and is very motivated. One day, he'll also have enough money to make you happy. However, before that time comes, I'm afraid we'll already be old and frail. Can you guarantee that the man won't look for anyone else? Cho Zichian held Huang Ling's hand and spoke for a long time. Huang Ling, what do you think? She asked. Huang Ling bit her lower lip. After hesitating for a long time, she finally nodded her head. Creak, creak. At this moment, the door was pushed open. Lin Fan walked in. Huang Ling, Cho Zichian, and Lin Fan looked at each other. As if she had done something bad, Huang Ling's face instantly turned red. Cho Zichian did not care about that. She pulled Huang Ling along and walked toward Lin Fan. She placed Huang Ling's hand into Lin Fan's. It was nighttime. The next day, on the white bed, there was a touch of red. As usual, Cho Zichin got up early and prepared a sumptuous breakfast. Just days ago, Huang Ling would wake up very early each time. However, she often waited for Lin Fan to leave before coming out. Today, Huang Ling came to the living room with Lin Fan. Lin Fan placed an egg into Huang Ling's bowl and said, You worked hard yesterday, so you should nourish yourself. Huang Ling seemed to have thought of something 
and her face blushed. Then, she almost buried her entire head into her bowl. Seeing this, Chiu Zichian could not help but laugh. After Lin Fan finished the entire bowl of noodles, he let out a burp. He picked up his phone and started fiddling with it. Immediately after, Huang Ling's phone rang with a crisp sound. WeChat transfer, 1 million yuan. Huang Ling's heart thumped wildly, and she was stunned. She had personally seen Lin Fan transfer a million dollars to Chiu Zichian. When she decided to become Lin Fan's woman, she thought of receiving similar treatment. However, now that she had actually obtained the money, she could not help but be extremely surprised. Lin Fan smiled. If you don't have enough, you can ask me for more. It's enough, Huang Ling quickly replied. It's enough? At that moment, Chiu Zichian's phone suddenly rang. She glanced at the caller ID and picked up the call. Mom, you're calling so early? Have you had breakfast? Chiu Zichian asked. On the phone, Wang Hui did not answer Chiu Zichian's question. Instead, she asked directly, Zichian, do you have two million? Mom, what do you need so much money for? Chiu Zichian asked, frowning. Your father has been captured, and one of his legs has been broken. If we don't pay the ransom, all his limbs will be broken. Wang Hui's voice gradually became hoarse as she spoke, and she could not help but sob. What? How did this happen? Chiu Zichian's heart ached, and she sniffled. Mom, I'll go back right away. Children were the flesh and blood of their parents. Were parents also not the people that their children cared about the most? As Lin Fan was sitting beside her, he easily heard the entire conversation between the two. He held Chiu Zichian's slender waist and said, I'll go home with you. Chiu Zichian nodded hesitantly. She did not want to trouble Lin Fan. However, Lin Fan was probably the only one who could solve her problem for her. Huang Ling, who was sitting opposite him, did not hear what had happened clearly. However, when she saw Chiu Zichian's sad face, she knew that something big had happened. Lin Fan will definitely be able to help you solve it. Don't be sad. Do you need me to go with you? She asked after a pause. I drove a Lamborghini here yesterday. It can't fit three people. You can rest at home today, Lin Fan said. All right, Huang Ling said. In fact, Huang Ling did not really want to follow them. She did not know how to face Chiu Zichian's parents. After Lin Fan and Chiu Zichian got into the car, Lin Fan stepped on the gas and sped forward. Chiu Zichian's hometown was located in Yin city of Jiang province, about 300 kilometers north of Li River. Two and a half hours later, a dilapidated old street gradually appeared in their field of vision. Chiu Zichian's house was right there. In a single-story house that was more than 10 years old, a woman who looked somewhat similar to Chiu Zichian but had gone through a lot was standing at the door and looking outside. When she saw Chiu Zichian come out of a cool supercar, her wrinkled old face showed a touch of excitement. Zichian, you're finally back. Wang Yu shouted. Then, she looked at Lin Fan and asked with uncertainty, Is he your boyfriend? Chiu Zichian was about to explain when Lin Fan answered, Yes, aunt. I'm Zichian's boyfriend, Lin Fan. Chiu Zichian's heart warmed when she heard that. Wang Hui's cloudy eyes lit up. Young man, how long have you known Zichian? She asked. Mom, this isn't the time to ask questions, Chiu Zichian said with a frown. Tell me quickly, why is dad being detained? Why is his leg broken? Wang Hui's eyes turned red as she spoke. I don't know what happened to your father yesterday. He went to an antique shop and accidentally broke an antique. The other party wanted him to pay, but he couldn't afford it. Then, they broke his leg. After that, someone called and said that if he didn't pay the money, they would. They would break his limbs. What's he going to do in the future without his limbs? Zichian Lin Fan, you guys have to save him. As Wang Hui spoke, her turbid tears kept flowing out as if a tap had been turned on. Aunt, don't worry. We'll go and save uncle now, Lin Fan comforted her. Besides, medical technology is so advanced now. Uncle's leg can definitely be cured. After consoling her for a while, Lin Fan and Chiu Zichian got back into the Lamborghini and headed to the place Wang Hui had told them about. At the same time, in Bree's Pavilion Antique Shop, a bald man with golden teeth was sitting with his legs crossed, munching on melon seeds and humming a tune leisurely. Boom! At this time, roars suddenly came from the distance. Then, 
The cool-looking Lamborghini stopped in front of the shop. When the bald man saw this, his squinted eyes lit up slightly, and he quickly got up to greet them. Welcome to Breeze Pavilion. We have things from all dynasties. Do you need me to introduce some items to you? You're detaining someone here, right? Lin Fan said coldly. Oh, you're here to redeem someone? The enthusiasm on the bald man's face immediately faded. Then, he sat back on the chair and crossed his legs. Who is he to you guys? The bald man said unhurriedly as he cracked a melon seed. He's my dad, Chiu Zichin said. All right, the bald man said. When your dad saw the blue and white porcelain vase from the Song Dynasty in our shop yesterday, he threw it to the ground. You have to compensate for the damage. Your dad doesn't have money, so we had no choice but to detain him. If you want to take your dad away, it's easy. Two million. Hand over the money and we'll hand you the person. You're extorting me. Chiu Zichin shouted. Extortion? Ah, little girl, don't talk nonsense, the bald man said. Aren't you afraid that we'll call the police and have them arrest you? Chiu Zichin yelled. Hurry up and call them. When the time comes, will they be arresting you or me? The bald man sneered. You. Chiu Zichin wanted to say something, but Lin Fan said, Two million, right? We'll pay. After saying that, Lin Fan took out a bank card. You're the most sensible one. The bald man laughed. He grinned, revealing his shiny golden teeth. He took the bank card and swiped it on the POS system. 